Welcome to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and in the next few videos I will be taking you through all the gear that we use in the Rope Access world. First off we're gonna be touching on the one that's on our body which we are hanging in directly and it's the harness. Let's go! There are countless different types of harnesses, ranging from very basic ones with maybe one or, or maybe two like with an attachment point in the back that are used in cherry pickers as a fall arrest harness, to a little bit more complicated, maybe some padding added with uh, attachment points on the side where you can position into, all the way up to the more complicated ones like the one I have here. The one I have here is one specifically designed for rope access world and you can tell because there's an integrated chest ascender. This is the Astro, made by Petzl. It's a nice harness. It has five attachment points, one on the back, one on the front. These are both as a fall arrest attachment point for your backup. We have the central D-ring, which is your ring that you attach everything to and you position yourself in when hanging on the ropes. And two additional, two additional attachment points on the side which could be used to position off. But first, if you like these kinds of videos and this content, please like the video, subscribe, and maybe hit that notification bell. If you would like to see any certain videos, leave a comment and tell me what you would like to see. So if you want to put this on, it's basically put it on like a pair of shorts. One, two, put your feet through. Then, we have the shoulder straps. Put one over your head. <coughs> Touch it a little bit, make it a little bit higher. Now you can adjust your, your clothing underneath. Then we do up the waist belt. What I like to do is tuck back all the loose ends and then the final one, do up the leg straps. Things to pay attention to is how tight do you do the harness? Starting with the leg loops, it's tight enough if you can put your hand through, if you make a fist and then when it's very hard to pull back, that's good. And the same goes for the hip belt, right? It's very tight right now. The shoulder straps are less important because right now they feel tight, but if I would be hanging in the rope attached from this, I will squish down because I'm hanging in it and then it's loose again. So these two, you adjust as you work and move around. So like I said, a rope access harness has an integrated chest ascender, which you can use to put the rope in and then you can ascend the rope. So this slides up the rope, but doesn't go down. As we have adjusted the harness, then we also have a ring on the back, right here. That should be approximately in between the shoulder blades. But a thing that's very comfortable when you're working, especially when you're ascending a lot and using the chest ascender a lot, is if you have some room to move here and make it more tight. My personal preference is to have it a little bit on the lower side so I can make this more tight. If this is on the high side, then I, do, I have less adjustability here to tighten it up. Now we have the harness put on properly. All the loose ends are tucked away. It's tight enough. We get into a little word of thanks from our sponsor, Industrial Klimme in the Netherlands. It's a full-on training center and they give me the opportunity to film these videos in here and I'm very grateful for them. If you need any training done regarding working at heights, they are the place to go in the Netherlands. There's a beautiful shop, a physical shop and a web shop. There's advice you can get here. Now that is out of the way. We can continue with the next bit of kit in the next video. We're going to be touching on the backup devices. I'll see you in the next one.